All right, this is Zephaniah. Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do, do if he bring his judgments to light. He felleth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. See? So that, that killing right there was just killing. We're nothing bad about that. But you say all oh, this is worse shit is hate, racism. Man, that's all orchestrated by Yahweh, man. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. And then you use Esau as the sword. Like you said, in Psalm 17, he used Esau as the sword on the left hand side. But that's the part two thirds you're not going to never get because the Lord has blinded you, according to Isaiah 6, to even going in these scriptures and reading scriptures and being taught these scriptures where you can understand those things, these things that happen in life. Man, these scriptures governs everything that go on, on everywhere in the whole universe. It covers everything, man. The answer is right here. All the way from you being uh, undeveloped to the air you breathe, the scriptures describe everything, man. That's the beautiful thing of the scriptures, man. That's why we can sit there and look at it Hey, and, and, and get on the phone and dissect, hey, and be like, yeah, we know it's, it's coming. You know? The crazy part, people look at, they'll look at us like, well, what do you what do you think about it? Shit, that's what it was supposed to be, judgment. And when you tell them that, they don't know what to say. But, uh, yeah, but, no, nah, ain't no but. This is judgment. That was just said in Zephaniah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say, well, God is love. Well, let's see him. Well, that's the first thing come out their mouth. My God wouldn't do nothing like that. This uh, Deuteronomy 33, I mean, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Mm -hmm. I kill and I make alive. I wound, I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand? So when you come into the hands of the Lord, it's time for judgment. Ain't nothing nobody could do to save you. If you're in the hands of the Lord when it comes time for uh, redemption and, and being saved up out of this place, ain't nothing nobody else gonna be able to do for the uh, to the elect. Or being put to death for, for your for uh, how you are walking contrary to the heavenly mm -hmm. Father. Can't nobody do nothing, man. You know? That was his lot. You know, and Jake is ignorant towards that because they not being taught the truth. Got you know? It. They leaving, they leaving off from the Heavenly Father and Son and saying the white man wrote the Bible. You know? Mm -hmm. They have they they don't have faith in the Heavenly Father and Son or Noah's word. Okay? They don't have it. Yep, and that's what it come down to, man. You you just y'all ain't got no damn faith, man. You wanna you like the scriptures say in uh is it Romans 8 and 24, man? Your hope is in things that you see. It ain't in things that you don't see. Man. And that's beautiful, that's why it's gonna get y'all killed. Man, that's what we pray for. We send these curses up daily. Brothers send curses up daily, man. Against two thirds of the other nations and the wicked, man. This uh, Leviticus 26 and 27. And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me, then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury. God. And I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. Seven times for your sins, man. So Jake probably did something way worse the last time he was here for him to get shot in the damn, wherever he got shot in the face of the chest at point blank range by somebody who he thought was supposed to be what protecting and help serve him. serving him his tax money if he paying taxes it pay his salary be shot like that yep It'd be mowed down and shit you know 
Texas. All three of them in Texas. All three of them. Trayvon, like, all the way back. Mike Brown, Trayvon, them. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the recent one. The I'm recent talking about one, the one yeah. in Baton Rouge. Yeah, and John. the one in uh, New York. Somewhere he in New York. Uh, it's a car got shot, too. Uh, somewhere, I, I think it was in Texas. Yeah, and then old boy found hanging. And the boy found hanging, yeah. You know? So these things occur, man. In Tennessee, these things are, these things are, these things are, no, in Atlanta, it's like, yeah, Atlanta kind. found hanging in Atlanta. So these things are carrying, man. You know, the most high is uh, walking contrary to Jake because Jake is not hearkening unto the words of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And they trusting in lies and they looking for a nation that, they looking for help for a nation that cannot save them. They looking for, for help from the enemy. God. No, that's a bad situation when you're looking for help from the enemy. <laughs> that, that, that right there, that right there, yeah. let you know that Jacob is in a confused state and not in the right spirit. They're in a confused state. And they don't got the answer on why these things happening to them. But if they were to hearken unto you, how about you now shot and listening to this word? then they will understand why these things are current. Mm -hmm. But not all they're going to understand. They're going to suffer their fate because it's their destiny to get done the way they're getting done. You know, two-thirds got to go. This uh, 1 Peter 5 and, uh, 1 Peter 5 and 8. It says, be, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is a roaring lion walking about, seeing who he may devour. He has a sober. Sober means being circumspect, man. Watch. You got to keep watch, man, because a lot of shit that's going on. You got to be awake. Yeah. A lot of stuff is happening, man. Isn't it, though? <laughs> you better hope you're a damn thing. <laughs> you better hope you're a blessing, Yeah, blessing. <laughs> He's uh, on the left hand side. He's out of there. Good. You know? He's strange from the womb. Mm -hmm. You know, matter of fact, I'm gonna get there. Yeah. He can talk all he want. Oh, matter of fact, I'm gonna get there, then I'm gonna jump to uh, Matthew 15th chapter. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, he said, be sober and be vigilant, man. Vigilant being being cautious. You gotta be circumspect plus be cautious, man. You know? Because Esau been preparing for years, man, on the days it's about to come. He's been preparing. Take take them down, man. Go ahead. Yeah. Psalm, Psalm 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Con. Strange from the womb, man. Esau basically is what? You outside the what? Uh, temple, profane. Man. Profane, man. That's what profane means. Unholy, man. Yeah. And outside the temple. You're a fornicator. Come. Born, born and created to be that way. Come. You know, can't help it. <laughs> you know? It says Psalm 58 and uh, 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Come. They are like the deaf adder that stopped her ear. That their poison is like the poison of a deaf adder, man. That deaf adder is like a like a cobra snake. And we know he has one of the most poisonous venoms when he bites you. When he bites you, death is right around the corner. You ain't gonna live too much longer after after one of them put his poison in you. Same way with Esau, man. With all his lies and his philosophies, if you you take if you buy into it, it's a it's a it's a slow death for you. Just like that 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 snake that bites you, man. That adder. You know you're gonna die. It's a slow death. It's miserable. And look at Jake now. They living in misery right now. This this is a slow death being put on them, man. It's Cause you bit that uh, got bit by that poison of uh, Esau's philosophy. Yep, trusting in their system. Trusting in their system. You're thinking they can save you, not knowing that they're the enemy. That was a good point. You said you get to go to the enemy for the help. That's it. Hey man. Like that was a that's that's in uh do the run, man. We gotta go to them for the one of all things, man. You know? 
but if you do what's right, the Heavenly Father and Son will protect you. God. But if you do what's wrong, he's going to walk contrary to you, and he's going to let Esau get down on you. You see? He's going to let Esau put you to death, or the other nations put you to death. One way or the other. One way or the other, you're going to check out. You're going to give up and go. But you ain't right. You know? This uh, Matthew uh, 15 and uh, 15 and 8. This Matthew 15 and 8. It says, These people draw nigh unto me with their mouth God. and honor me with their lips. They but draw, their heart is far from me. They draw nigh to with their mouth. Oh, Lord Jesus, we love you, Lord Jesus, we love you. We give all praise to you. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Thank you, Jesus. But y'all action is far from it. And that ain't his name. There was no J into the, into the 1630 or 1700. Mm -hmm. So his name ain't Jesus. Okay? It's Matthew 15 and 8. For these people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. Their but heart. in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Gun. Commandments of men, man. Everybody can be saved. The Lord love everybody. The Lord is love. He don't hate. He don't hate. The doctrines of men. He don't kill nobody. Gun. He's Gun. a loving, he's a loving power. But we just read in Leviticus. That if you walk, if you don't hearken unto his word, he will walk contrary to you. God. And he will walk towards you in fury. You see? Y'all on it with y'all lips, but yeah, you got smothered pork chops going on the damn stove. And you got Caesar Bozier hanging up over the damn stove. Right. In the dining room, in the living room. Kennedy's and Martin Luther King hanging up in the living room. Crosses and shit all on the walls and shit. Our dollars is everywhere. Everywhere. All around your neck. I idol worship everywhere. <laughs> then wonder why you got roaches real bad. Or any type of, or any type of, uh, <laughs> Pestilence. <laughs> you know? They be wondering, man. Taking 500 pills. Exactly. You know? Any, any, anything, man. Jake, Jake is, uh, they, are, they have become animals, man. Mm -hmm. They're just what it is. They have become animals. The East Side taught y'all. Right. To, to actually worship these uh, fucking pagan ass holidays. All these this Christmas and the Nimrod Day and this Thanksgiving Fourth shit. Lied. Fourth of July and New Year's and all that shit. He taught you, man, that shit, man. And none of that ain't even in the scriptures. None of it. Commandments of men, man. Commandments of men. But I believe that's how we're supposed to worship. That's the truth. You off. But that's the thing that Jake don't want to accept. Because mm -hmm. they're in a the confused state. And then when you hit them with it, when you can when they when they so get convicted, when you hit them with it, what that's in the scripture, get what they say. Well it's for the kids. Let's just do it for the kids. Man, you supposed to be bring your kids up in the scriptures, man, once they get a certain age. And teaching them my dog. You teaching them my dog. <laughs> So they can pass it on to their kids. Pass it on to their kids. <laughs> Pure magic. This is Isaiah 30 and 10. Which say to the seers, see not to the prophets, prophesy unto us, right? I mean, it's like this is Isaiah 30 and 10. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. Mm -hmm. So give us an illusion, man. We like those illusions of what y'all been putting out there for, for ever since 
1492, uh, y'all took over. We love it. That was too courteous. Just give it to us smooth. We can feel good when we leave. We don't want nothing harsh. We don't want the reality to hit us in the face. So we got to accept real reality. Other scriptures. I want to feel good when I leave here, like I used to feel when I was when I was uh, reveling back in the club days. They want to feel that same feeling. With the precepts of men, God. You know. It says, "Get ye out the way, turn aside, out the path. Call the Holy One of Israel to see among us." Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereupon, therefore this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, uh, swelling out in high in, in a high swelling out in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. So it's all gonna come down on you, man. Because y'all have said, keep the word what far from us. This is what y'all do. You put it right here under your arm, right? But yet, when, when brothers bring the scriptures out, you take our running. That means you want the word far from you. You don't want that word near and dear to your heart. You're running from it. So when it's time for the Lord to bring down them walls, these walls of this 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 wicked, wicked ass kingdom. It's going to follow you suddenly, man, and it's going to be in the form of famine, pestilence, uh, uh, confusion and chaos in the streets, killing, and thermonuclear destruction, concentration camp. That's what it's going to be. That's going to be your judgment for not wanting that word near to you, for wanting it pushed away from you, man. It's going to be beautiful, man, because you people are fucking comfortable as hell. Right, bro. They are comfortable, man. They just be playing. This shit is, look at that motherfucker. They like it. They like it, man. You know, they like, they like the situation that they're in. When they say they don't like it, they lying, man. Because they'll come back to the Heavenly Father. Come. Right? Quick, be quick with the quickness. And then they say they know the Heavenly Father. Yeah. Well, I know the Heavenly Father. I know, he know my heart. Now you, you don't, you don't know. You lying because you would come back to him and you would know who you are as a people and know the true name of the heavenly father and son. You looking towards the white man to save you. You just a geek saw. You know. You got one. And, and then when Jake find out he's Israelite, then we tell Esau, the so-called white man, that with the Bible speaks of, they'll turn around and tell you Esau, not the white man. How you know that? Pure madness, man. Which we know he the so-called white man. Pure madness, man. Luke. This is uh, Luke 21, 34. It says, and take heed to yourselves, at least at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that that day come upon you unawares. So you got to take heed, man. You got to be watching, man. It said, like it said, you don't let you don't be uh, overcharged. You don't be weighed down, right? With what's going on in the, in this place, man. Just cause somebody running over here to do this, you don't run over there to do that, man. The cares of this life. Oh, we got to have three cars because we got two kids. We got to have a bigger house. We got to have this. We got to have that. You know? Yep. When you go into that word surfeiting, that means like a headache from, from being uh, drunk. Being intoxicated. So you basically have, you basically have these, you, you're drunk from the philosophies that Esau has put on you in his, in his way of life. So you basically, you run and you care for everything that Esau has put out here, those cares of life that Esau had you running around, that shit give you a fucking headache, man.